and this, and this, and this. Hey Danny, you're helping me out? <laughs> Today we are switching out the rear axles because the Mark II axle is one and a half centimeter, like 15 millimeters smaller than the Mark III rear axle. So that means for the 18 inch wheels we got a tiny bit of more space. So that's what we're trying to do right now. We already got the Mark II axle in, so we're going to put on the hubs and then see if we got a little bit more room for the rear wheels. One side was already done to a hub only, so let's get this side done as well, same as the other side. Because of those 18 inch wheelies, we need to make it fit. And now we can properly see on the inners of the arch if we can get the wheels fit properly. a little bit and get the original shape back in the way it's supposed to be. Then of course probably the same solution at the front. Just going to cut out the original line, get some new in, new fenders and put them in a little wider shape to fit the wheels. Okay I'm starting off with this edge that's 
goes inside, we want it to go flat to the inner wheel arch. Because we want as much material over here as possible to get the nicest paint job and the nicest effect on the arches. If you just grind it down, it will be really thin and always will get your arches go rusting. So we want to make this line stay original and fold this line to the inside. Then I can cut out the shapes that I need and then I can see how it will fit the inner arches. so damn tricky again to keep it as original as possible because we're adjusting the original sizes of the arches that means you're getting them out but the material needs to go somewhere so now over here there's a little kink that we need to adjust so probably I'm going to cut it open here and then make it flow back in and I want over here in the corner I want it make it go outside as much as possible so we need that kink so the complete arch can come out but the overall shape this is what we want a little bit more with the hammer and dolly to get everything in the right shape but in the end you won't notice that they are widened for about 20 millimeters As you can see, it slides perfectly into place right now. So the sheet metal shape is perfect. No gaps from the, the original body to the new built flares. So, ready to weld. First up, I'm going to get the other side done. So we can get the same result, so I can measure everything and see if everything is the same. So, let's go. and. Grind out this side, then off, measuring both sides if they are the same, and weld them in. Or how this is fitting. just rolled out outwards the inner arch and I think it's almost the same like the other side but let's see if the wheels in and then work from there Fast 
this side is going. The first side was an example, and this side, you know where the sheet metal is shaping to and which way it goes, so you can count on that and adjust a little bit on how I made the wider sides. Only thing you need to do is just get the shape of the arch back a little bit. Yes, this is the perfect way how I wanted that to fit. I'm really happy on how this is flowing. Look at this. Little wider fender. thing I guess. They're all straight and flat and yeah actually in pretty good but the rolled fenders and the inner arch are aligned perfectly. I've got a nice line over here of thick sheet metal for the perfect looks and rust preventing. I still got some final touches to do and some welding of course but the big jobs are done. I'm going to do a lot of prepping before paint and straighten them out the last pieces and the last hurdles as much as I can and as possible because it's so difficult to reach it with the hammer and dolly. But that's always with these cars. They're always tricky. This side is even better than the other side. There I all I hammered and dollied it after the welding, but yeah, shouldn't have done that. Because it's just too terrible to reach. So I changed the way I did it on this side and it went better. There's always something. It would be better if you got to do these cars, the same car, every week. Get it perfect, but that's not the way we do it. Well, like and subscribe to the channel and put something in the comments. Or tips or tricks. Let me know people so we can keep the channel growing. And uh, I really like all your comments and uh, I really appreciate it so keep them coming see you in the next episode where we're going to finish all the arches and the welding of the Mark 3 that will be next week see you next week